How do all be delicious people? Today, today I am here, I am here to showcase more than likely uh, a lot of uh, just Marvel Strike Force stuff that I've just been luckily, uh, lucky to be getting lately. Uh, if anything, my roster has adjusted greatly. Uh, as you can see there, uh, just seconds ago, uh, I had, uh, through war, uh, because I'm level 65 now, uh, I have been starting to get some more sharded characters, and Carnage, I had just unlocked seconds ago and started beefing him up, um, so Carnage is at 3414, that's the highest that I'm willing to, uh, kind of, uh, beef him up right now, if anything, Rescue, I had bought through a lot of um, power core things, that's why my power cores right now are at like 200 and something. Uh, Green Goblin, which you see on the far end there, uh, I had got, I just had grinded crazily uh, recently through the Green Goblin Blitz because I'm like, oh, there's another Sinister Six character because then I can get um, hopefully him and two others fairly soon. Uh, speaking of soon, um... Vulture, of course, I had eventually uh, amassed some arena shards and got to eventually unlock Vulture. So there we go for that one. And really, I'm still, I'm still pretty close with some characters. I am one shard away from Killmonger. I'm just going to wait till maybe I get a basic or something of a Killmonger and then I will be set to go. If anything, I'm four shards away from Storm, which I'm uberly excited about. I've been hoping for Storm for the longest time. 17 shards away from Doctor Strange. Which is going to be... I'll, I'll go crazy once I can finally unlock Doctor Strange. Um, legitimately, he's just... Yeah, who wouldn't want some of that Doctor Strange? And I don't even, like, for most of these things, I haven't even played the Mystic storyline yet to get some of these, which, uh, again, is so is so ridiculously hard to even get to, uh, even the first part of the Mystic story. I've, I've kind of churned a little bit of cosmic stuff out, but without a doubt, it's super hard. If anything, uh, Rocket is probably next in line for me to get in the raid store. I know people are probably thinking, why not just go and grind and get uh, Killmonger in the raid store? It's one shard. Um, eventually, um, after I unlock him and then get some characters that I really and truly, really want, um, then I will go back to Killmonger and start grinding away. But... Uh, Rocket is probably a key person that I really need through the raid store right now, so all things aside. Uh, then after probably Rocket, um, I'll either try to either grind up some Killmonger or go for Mysterio. Um, even though, you know, Mysterio's just kind of meh. It's kind of meh. Um, Nobu will probably be the next, um, coming out of the War store if eventually I can... Uh, get some more stuff. Uh, but other than that, everybody else, for the most part, uh, just really and truly isn't really uh, very much obtainable right now. Speaking of Shuri, uh, <laughs> Shuri's coming up soon, so eventually I gotta try and get my... Uh, my uh sinister six more presentable because at the end of the day uh you can get shuri and invisible woman uh both together with the same team so i don't know we'll see how things go at the end of the day human torch right now is on blitz but i honestly like human torch is probably going to be a key character to get uh because he kind of um supposedly is kind of like captain marvel right now but at the end of the day, um, I, would, I would much rather get Captain Marvel than I honestly would Human Torch. I don't know, a lot of the new characters are just kind of uh, sounding and feeling very vanilla right now. Uh, Human Torch might be the exception to that, but... Uh, and for some reason, everybody's excited about getting Namor right now, which, I'm again, I'm just kind of, like, 
vanilla-ing out right now. I just don't care for the newer characters. I'm not uh, stressed or pressured to get all the new ones. I just want to, like, kind of continuing on the journey of, uh, of just kind of uh, getting who I'm getting and being happy with it. Uh, Cable, I had gotten through the war store and it really wasn't a lot of hard, it wasn't really a lot of hard work because I had kind of threw a lot of just random shards, just gotten some cable shards, luckily. Rhino, of course, Blitz store, as everybody knows. And where is he? Where is my delicious war machine? I had to grind so hard for through the raid store. And finally have achieved them. Which I'm so excited about. The only thing is just like. Man the raid store's payout is just so ridiculously slow. Uh, if anything. Vision I had gotten through just buying out a lot of. Um, spending some power cores. Getting some vision shards. And I'm just. I'm happy with vision. Vision is so uh, if you guys don't have vision, uh, and there's so many people that can barely even get to the mystic story, I, I honestly really want to get through to the mystic story. So one, I can get, uh, I can get to storm and I can also eventually get to Dr. Strange, but that mystic story is so freaking hard. It's ridiculously hard. Um... But as you can see here, topping out the top of the list is Miles. I tried to, as much as possible, as much as humanly possible, try to make Miles the most powerful character I possibly could uh, with how many resources I have. Um, so yeah. Uh, so if anything, I'm probably going to showcase a couple teams, but I also have to get another orb. I gotta get another orb, everybody. Man, I, I honestly just wish that I had a, a ton of just power cords. I, I always try to save them up, but at the end of the day, it's just... Uh, to be able to get some a lot of power cores, because you never know when they're going to sell uh, some power core that... Some power core or some, something of some character that you actually legitimately want for once, instead of some garbage thing like aim guy number two or whatever the heck. Yay, 10 shards of Punisher. I'm so excited. I could really use that right now with all the things going on in this Marvel Strike Force economy. I just, I really need uh, another 10 Punisher character shards. Um, I really, I won character that I really would love to beef up right now. Um, besides, of course, I think I'm concentrating so much on Vision and War Machine right now. I would love to beef up Loki more. I would love to be able to beef up Loki more. Like, what? But if anything, he's not really important. God, the thing that I hate is just, like, I have to focus so much on, like, Oh, I can. I should only be focusing on beefing up certain characters uh, because uh, legendary events and this and that to the point where I just can't. Um, I just can't really have fun in the game. It's not really and truly real legitimate fun um, to just kind of just be happy with. Yeah, I beefed up this guy. No, like everything is to like some ultimate goal. Um, so that's why. I probably get frustrated and I don't enjoy the game because in the same vein, I'm just like, I'm just going to do whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to do whatever. Um, who am I beefing up through the stores right now? Um, really, I'm still kind of hanging on to a lot of the Guardians right now. Um, that's kind of my goal. Um... Because, like, Yondu, um, Yondu, you can kind of get him through the story, and that will kind of get your dailies out of the way. Um, and 
And then eventually, when I'm not getting certain shards for certain characters, I'll kind of throw something on Drax, or I'll get I'll throw something on Gamora, or maybe I'll throw something on Mantis. Um, just to eventually, uh, when the day comes when another Star Lord event comes out, because without a doubt, um, I am a couple. I'm like two shards shy um for most of my guys to just hopefully be able to unlock the star of lords um but star lord and rocket would be a great uh achieve achievement achievement uh but i've also been doing a lot of mystique shards lately through the to get some uh villain stuff out of the way Even though I'm sure there's probably people saying like, No, get this! Do this one! You're dumb! <laughs> You're so dumb. Why aren't you doing it? Like, I'm sure there's probably people that uh, will, would want to critique and want to whatever. And that that's fine. Um, there, there's some times where I'm even asking like, Hey, how can I do this better? Um, cause I'm, I'm still, uh, a person that really doesn't tie myself to, um, this game very often. So if people want to critique anything that I'm doing right now, that's completely fine. Um, so yeah, here's kind of my team setup so far, uh, because eventually I started to run out of slots because I have a lot of characters now for some freaking reason, luckily. Um... But yeah, I kind of started to get rid of the mercenary characters and kind of mix them in with some teams and some aim people have just kind of mixed them into teams, random bags of teams, uh, because at the end of the day, they were like, they sucked individually. And at the end of the day, um, if other characters just need to carry these characters through the victory line, then that's what they're going to do. So here's kind of like my setup right now. Um... Ben is, uh, Grimm is, Ben Grimm is still with, uh, the Guardians. If anything, I'm probably going to switch out these AIM people with maybe just, uh, Carnage and somebody else. Uh, but I think everything else is, is looking okay right now. Um, God, I want to, I want to, I want to beef Vision up to the ceiling. Just beef him up to the ceiling, because he's such a Swiss Army Knife character. Um, I want to beef up Cable a little bit, too. But again, neither one of these characters factor in to, like, future plans of things. So it's just like, oh, but I want to do this so badly. But then it's just like, but there's no point to the overall goal, which just sucks. Just sucks the life out of you. Just sick. Just sucks the big old fat life out of you. It really does. So yeah, we're gonna kind of see. Uh, I'm gonna kind of showcase some of these characters because I unlocked some freaking many of them. I've waited too long <laughs> to do another video of this, but if anything, now I have seven characters that I've unlocked instead of just six. It's like I'm I'm trying to put a put together a Sinister Seven with heroes and villains. But yeah, but I'll try to showcase some of them at least because there's so freaking many of them, and some of them are really really fun, really cool, and some of them are just kind of meh, just kind of meh. There's a whole lot of meh going on. God, Miles is so much fun. <laughs> Venom or uh, Miles and Carnage and Venom are all just gonna be so fun to play together. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be off the easy. Maybe I should speed this up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just kind of beef this up a little bit. Oh, nice. Even though I've kind of seen probably some Carnage stuff through people playing it, 
again, when you have this character in your hands, finally. Oh my god, that was awesome! Kind of reminds me of uh, Prototype, the, the video game Prototype. Uh, the first one was pretty good, the second, the second one is just meh. Nah, it's kind of very vanilla. Yeah, down. Because this, this team has less points than I do. So it's easy victory. Yeah, but I guess a lot of people are projecting that this this blitz is going to probably be um, people overwhelming this blitz more than anything else, which I can understand it. You have a very low um, shard character, and so everybody's going to grind their way to try to get the try to get them a lot of tags there a lot of tags <clears throat> I want to play against this team just to see what uh, Killmonger has to offer maybe I can actually uh, achieve him eventually but I don't know there's a lot of times where I'm just waiting for things just waiting just waiting If only we would have we would have had one more extra day of Killmonger shards, I would have unlocked him. I would have unlocked him. Yeah. If anything, probably out of these five, I think I probably like uh, either Rhino or uh, Goblin more. Kind of warming up to Vulture though too. But I think Rhino and Rhino and Goblin are very effective, even though at the end of the day I just don't care for um, Goblin's visuals, because again the wings it's still bugging me. I just I just don't I just don't like the wings. I just don't like them. I'd rather have him have a glider. I'd rather have him have a glider. And I know I'm nitpicking, I know, but it's, it's too legit. It's too legit. Uh, where are some other peoples? Yeah, let's do freaking this team. All new people. Yeah, so, um, evidently vision. All right, so the last thing you buy is probably saw was me going into a blitz uh, with uh, probably vision war machine stuff like that I'm gonna get to that because yeah for some reason um, yeah my for some reason magically today um, I don't get it uh, my uh, recordings have it's been rec have just been crashing today um, just on this game alone <laughs> like it's happened twice now so if anything I just hope to do this long enough to be able to just be done for the day so yeah um, hope for the best Be this up a little bit. But yeah, uh, Vision and War Machine are just really fun uh, to see all of their attacks. Um, they're just really fun. Uh, if anything, Rescue is just, she's just there <laughs> it's not like she's ever really gonna be like she's all I ever wanted no it's just gonna be she's just 
And I thought it was funny how, like, oh, they fixed her, guys, so she's important now. Not really. <laughs> she's just there. She's still just there. Come on. Take them down, Rhodes. Brody. Take them down. What vast amount of comic book knowledge I have. Compared to what probably the common person that... Yeah, I've only seen the movies. Which is completely fine if that's who you are. That's probably the average uh, people. And that's fine. Um, but at the end of the day... Um, it's better to have somebody that... Um, really does care about the source material. Or is at least willing to actually look some of the stuff up as well. <laughs> Cause I don't want to sound like I know everything about uh, XYZ characters. But yeah, uh, what was I doing? I'm gonna check. Got some Blitz credits. If anything, uh, even though I just got five shards from Rhino, I think I have to continue to just uh, dump more Sinister Six shards in. So, 460. Let's pause here because this comes up for some reason. Never mind. Uh, 500. Okay, so I think we have to forcibly just do some whatever arenas just to get them done. 1740, I, I think I made it to a point of like 1300 or whatever, and then I just started to just consistently drop because, yeah, there's just... Once you get to a certain point, you just, there's nowhere to go but down um, because... Um, there isn't people to match you, um, to get you to go up when you're so low in points, uh, and so low in powers. Because, of course, um, I don't have much red stars or I don't have much, uh, character shards to justify, um, power to the players. Gah... At the end of the day, let's just get to a random team. Uh, I wanna change this team though, because I've had that I've had that lineup that was just up there for a while, and I'm like, dude, I've had so many powerful, um, much more powerful people um, through this, so time to change it up. Even though at the end of the day, what good is it going to do against a couple hundred, um, thousand of whatever. So I'm just kind of, uh, playing this out, knowing full well that, uh, there's no light at the end of the rain this rainbow. But maybe I can at least take one of them out. <laughs> at least one of them. Because I have a feeling that Crossbones is probably going to take me out with his big old ultimate power. Oh, I got one! I got one! Because I know I'm not going to take out Crossbones, I know I'm not going to take out Luke Cage, so... Whatever tiny victories that I can get, it's just... Yeah, just go ahead. Just go ahead. Yes, that's what happens when you go against people that are twice your power because you have nothing else. You have nothing else. Yeah, just, I'm sure you feel so powerful. I'm sure you do. I'm 
sure you do. Oh well, I want the arena credits. I'll get 250, there'll be another 500. I can probably throw that onto Vulture. Uh, cause again, uh, for the first time in I don't know how long, uh, I guess stars matter to me now. <laughs> uh, I guess. I'm gonna kinda look though. Whoops. I'm gonna kinda look though if... How many... 51. I could maybe... I can maybe look through some character stuff and see if I can up some shards for, let's just do this to just get rid of it. Yeah, just get rid of it. You should have held it. You should have held it. Uh, I should have held nothing. I hold nothing back now. Uh, let's get Groot some shards. Why not? What am I doing training? I'm not going to train Groot. I want to give him some shards. Hopefully I can get some shards for Groot today. Yeah. I like the ching ching. I don't want to. I don't want to pay power cores for that. No one would want to. I guess nah, no one would want to do that. No one in the world would want to do that. Come on, I don't have the. I don't have him dying on power cores here. I'm just dying. That's because I do things called blow them too often. Just blow them all away. Because there's too many good uh, power core deals right now. It's too many. Uh, who other people should I play with? I'm having a heck of time, heck of the time uh, with uh, Brotherhood. Brotherhood is so fun. So fun. I'm sorry if anybody watching this doesn't have certain characters, but it's they're fun. Fun, everyone. They're fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna repetitively say they're fun. It's repetitively. Mm. I hate two taunters. I hate or there. There's three taunters right there. Uh, two taunters and a grim. We're just farting in the wind either way. It's farting in the wind either way. We are big old farting in the wind. <laughs> and I know what everybody's thinking. Shouldn't you be getting crossbones out of the way? Everybody's saying. That's what everybody's thinking. They're thinking it out. Like, why aren't you attacking crossbones? Why aren't you? Look at that. Look at the power. Look at that powder power. <laughs> ah, T U R T L E power. Uh, and I know I probably should be getting Luke Cage out of the way, but if anything, once Luke Cage taunts, he sends health to Jessica, so that's why I got her out of the way. Because health is looking pretty good right now, so I'm not afraid. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do once I get, if I get Storm. I have no clue what I'm going to do once I get Storm. I could probably get rid of, um, Miss Marvel, but one, 
where would I put her? And two, um, I honestly like her being put with this team because Wolverine and uh, just kind of works well with the whole brawling thing. It kind of really works well. Kind of really fits. Really fits. I honestly could get uh, rid of Deadpool and Cable and just put them somewhere else because they're just kind of there just to just to have a loving embrace. But they're just they're just they're just yeah, that's what they are. This. Uh, let's do some more Ben Grimm action. Let's do some more Ben Grimm action. Uh... Can I go up against the Captain Marvel? Can I just do that once? So I can feel big about myself. I'll go up against the Captain Marvel. Come on, give it to me. I want to take her down. Put it down a few pegs. I'd really enjoy it. Get rid of Yondu, he's the only threat. Technically, Rhino is pretty good, but at the end of the day, Yondu is a healer. Technically, sort of a healer. Uh, what if I just save Rhino for last? I'm just gonna save him for last. Unless uh, I think he just taunted there, so... I guess I can save him the best man for last. Come on. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling the heat? I don't even, like, the funny thing about this is I realistically don't even need to taunt anymore. I remember all the time I would used to, like, have, like, God, I gotta have somebody taunting who has a good set of powers because, yeah, at the end of the day, I'd be so worried about, like, the rest of my team just getting killed. Because they have no taunter. I don't, I honestly just don't really, it's not a big thing anymore. Great. It's good times. What the heck was that? You crack your uh, rock knuckles. Who's sorry they didn't get a Marvel Studio series now, Jessica Jones? Oh, you know you're dead. Yeah, so uh, evidently in the news, Marvel news lately, um, She-Hulk, She-Hulk and Moon Knight are coming out. Uh, if anything, I am a big fan of She-Hulk. Um, I really like the Moon Knight uh, books. The only thing is, it's just the fact of, no, don't show me that. Don't show me that. Plus, I wouldn't want to pay 30 bucks for that anyways, <laughs> even if I had that kind of cashola. I would not do that, because that's, that's just not the right move. It's just not the right move. Think of the children. For some reason. Let me guess, Namor? Yeah, some more Namor shards. How even way further away am I from that, from that character? Because I'm sure he's probably, what, 100 shards right now? Everybody's crazy for aim for Namor right now for some strange reason. A lot of people are kind of hoping that uh, She-Hulk and Moon Knight uh, might be added into the game because, you know, um, they might try to promote the series on this game. Um, if anything, they were probably talking about Coulson too uh, being put on here a long ways of years ago. And people are still consistently asking about Cyclops. When is Cyclops going to be added to the game? Never. He's dead. Just like in uh, X-Men 3. 
And I know I never saw Dark Phoenix, so yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, who knows how that went. Let's get a change up. Let's get Rocket in there. I might want to take him out right away, but at the end of the day, he's there. He's there in our lives. How long have I even been recording for? All right. So probably since 18 minutes before, I'll probably do about 22. The normal 40. I think the funny thing is, is Spider-Man um, dodges more than anything. And I think that really kills a team. It's just Spider-Man dodging, but luckily I don't have to deal with that kind of garbage. And I also know what a lot of people are thinking. They're also thinking, man, why do you have two healers on this team? And technically, if you add Yandu to the mix, that's three. But also, at the end of the day, uh, Yandu is pretty effective at what he does to the point where I honestly don't really need much more... Uh, extra peeps. It's really don't. I just really don't. Yeah, that felt good. Felt like we needed that win under our belts. Hey healer. Do that thing. Well if anything if anything goes south, uh, at least uh Ravengers are pretty good. At, uh, at, uh, the big old W's. I rarely lose with the Ravenger team, so. If anything, I'm happy with that. Even with technically three healers on that team. Still going somewhat quasi-strong with that. So I can, I can, uh, count my blessings, I guess. I guess I should legitimately just add Carnage onto this, because where else am I going to put him? Again, I'm going to slowly but surely just get rid of all these little aim people and stuff where if I honestly just don't really give a rip about him, I'm just going to get rid of him. I just don't need that kind of malarkey, if you know what I'm saying. I just don't need that kind of malark in my life. 27874. Oh. I'm going to regret that later. I'm going to regret that later. Carnage needs to at least give us a uh, a 30.279648011624 at least at least god i'm kind of running out of the teams running out of the teams uh, so we're kind of back to this old standby here. A lot of Avengers, wave one. Kind of back to these fellers. Because really there's not much to be able to do with Ant-Man, there's not much to do with Wasp. And Hawkeye is just kind of like floating in the wind, so... It's just like Cap and Hulk are just kind of, uh, just like, uh, there's nowhere to go, really. So people are just forced with things. They're just forced. And again, a lot of people are thinking right now, why aren't you going for crossbones? I'm also thinking, I'm going to eat a sandwich right now. Eat a sandwich. Mentally. Eating a sandwich. 
I wasn't ready for that Marvel Strike Force. Wasn't ready. You made me unready for that Marvel Strike Force. Oh, yeah. Just plop it down. Whenever you like. Look at that, Crossbones is dead. Now I know what everybody's thinking. Yeah. We had to forcibly go and beat up Luke Cage. I didn't want to do it, but... You didn't have to taunt either. And I know what everybody else is thinking. Did I fire... Um, one shield or two? Ah, uh, come on. Let's taunt with Captain America. Why not? Let's taunt with Hulk. Sure, why don't we? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling frosty. I'm feeling frosty. Oh my gravy, Captain. That is America's butt right there. That is America's butt. Come on. Yeah. Victory. While no one's looking. No one's looking. Nobody's looking. Victory while no one's looking. All right. So more than likely, this should conclude my episode for today. Uh, I guess I could play one more arena to get my dailies done. Yeah, look at those high-scoring teams. I'm sure a lot of people are just like, Hey, that's my name on there. My name's also on there. Somewhere. In the ether of things. Uh, 709 to whatever. Dang it, man. Why can't you just give me a score that I can just get points on? Just so I can just... Tout about how unawesome I am at things and stuff. Why can't you just let me win? Okay, obviously, obviously, these teams are too ridiculously high. Because I'm a guy that, uh, yeah, just got here by via luck and not by skill. Uh, no, why? Why, Ostrich? Why are you so high with this? F it, let's just go in here, just do this. With the credits, it's more Vulture shards, be happy about it. It's more Wolverine shards to eventually. Max out on Wolverine. Uh, really, at the end of the day, I think when you honestly just max out on Hulk and Wolverine, I think the game should just be like, okay, you maxed out on these on these characters. How about you just go and just um, here's a new set of. Uh, whoops! I didn't want to auto. I didn't want to auto. I didn't want to auto Octavius this right now. But yeah, um, but yeah, uh, I think once you max out on those characters, they should just automatically just switch to something else. But I guess there's no way of really seeing that. So they're just kind of like, well, how are we supposed to know when every single player maxes out on a character? Like, why would we want to take that time and do that kind of math in the game? But I don't know, I think it would be a nice little switch up to finally, um, get rid of some, uh, get rid of some stuff, you know? Kind of just get rid of some things. Especially if you're never gonna, um, 
Like, there's got to be some kind of uh, change of the change of the tides, you know. There's got to be some kind of uh, real legitimate, like, things are going to change when you eventually max out these characters out. Otherwise, you're just, you're really just kind of wasting your time uh, with those, with those five shards, but if anything, uh, what would I want uh, for um, updates? What would I want for updates? More than likely, they, uh, they don't have a milestone character coming out yet. Um, so if it's not going to be Human Torch, uh, I would assume it would probably be Mr. Fantastic, right? Tactical controller, I'm assuming he's probably going to be in the milestones, right? Uh, a lot of people are hoping for, like, Namor because they just, they just really just got a hankering for that character. They just got a big, juicy hankering for some, some Namor. They're just going to Namor for it, and it's just not enough. Um, I honestly think it would just be nice if for all the milestones we could just kind of get a barrage of just kind of like man it would be cool if we could just get one certain team for milestones that would be kind of interesting so just going for one individual person just kind of spread it around through an entire team of something like say for example um if they knew that a certain legendary thing was going to come out then without a doubt they can do milestones for an entire team of, of something that is going to help um, to uh, get you through a legendary event. That would help, but again, they probably wouldn't want to do that because it's like, well, no, we just want everybody to buy, buy offers and selfishly spend money and dot, 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 dot. But... At the end of the day, if they're not going to pick any real person that will really be effective on on teams or whatever, and it's probably just going to be mediocre or useful or whatever, um, really at the end of the day, uh, I heard Thor is probably going to get a rework pretty soon and maybe be much more effective. Um, so it would probably be just nice to just throw in Thor in there uh, or maybe even Black Panther or maybe... Uh, it's probably got to be 100 shard character who would probably be, uh, who would probably be a character that probably doesn't get a lot of loving. I, I would be happy with Doctor Strange, but he's probably too powerful. They probably wouldn't pick him. Uh, Thanos would be nice, but again, they probably wouldn't pick him. Uh. I would appreciate Rocket, but again, probably not going to happen. Uh, Nobu, I really just don't give a rip about. Uh, if they put Captain Marvel in there, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too mad at uh, that for. Or Black Widow would be nice. Black Widow would be nice, considering everybody moans and groans about how uh, Black Widow isn't farmable. Uh... I already mentioned Black Panther. As long as it's not Scientist Supreme, because who really cares? Uh, I wish they would do something with Colossus. Maybe put him in a store somewhere. Um, otherwise, I'm never going to get Colossus, because I really just... I would never really give a rip about him anywhere. So just... It would be nice to just toss him in some kind of store. Um, would be kind of cool. Or maybe even in war. Toss him in war. That's fine. I'll uh, I'll grind for Colossus and war. That's that. I'll go for that. Um, cause then I'd only need forty shards, and that could be easily achievable. I'll I'll be fine with that. Uh. Other than that, I don't think there's anybody else justifiably that they'll really. Uh, of course, somebody that I would need. Um. I don't know, I don't know really much of any real 100 shard characters that would probably be really be beneficial um, to 
throw down uh, for milestones. Pretty much after that, you probably end up getting a lot of 45 short characters. Or maybe to tick people off, they'll just throw some kind of character nobody wants. Uh, which will probably end up being Scientist Supreme. And they're like, hey, we're going to tick everyone off by putting this character in. And then everybody's going to moan and groan about it. Um, which would be fun. Uh, which would be funny, but... I don't know. I'm kind of hoping for the top three here. Probably Doctor Strange, Thanos, Rocket. Um, I'd be happy with those. Because there's some people that are either way far away from for Thanos or not even close. Uh, and I know there was like a Thanos uh, Blitz that happened, but at the end of the day, I could never get anything from that. Uh... Because, yeah, they never did anything with Rocket after that first initial event. So it would be kind of cool if they did. Because uh, I know you can get uh, Rocket in the raids, but, man, that's a really slow, uh, that's a really slow grind. Um, so, yeah, if they did, Doctor Strange or Thanos would probably be two uh, top things that I'm hoping for. But at the end of the day, or maybe even Black Widow. So Black Panther, Black Widow, uh, Doctor Strange or Thanos would kind of probably be the top four. Because everybody would be happy with Black Widow. Um, maybe some people would be happy with Black Panther. And then, of course, uh, Doctor Strange or Thanos would be uh, two big characters that everybody would be pleased about. Uh, because without a doubt, Strange is hard to get, and uh, Thanos is Thanos. So, yeah, those are probably my top picks, um, which probably won't be any of those. It'll probably either be one, somebody I already have, or two, it'll be somebody that um, I really didn't care about. Um, but at the end of the day, if they threw just Captain Marvel out there just for... Uh, to look shards, I would be completely fine with that. Um, or Minerva would be cool. Just for, like, Fear of the Darkness kind of sake. Because everybody complains about, I want Minerva shards. I want Minerva. I want Minerva. Um, or, I just, I just really just don't care about Namor. I just don't care. I know that's what's probably going to happen. But I just don't care about Namor. I just don't give a rip about Namor. So Thor! Thor would be nice. Uh, considering he's getting a rework anyways, I hear that there's uh, going to be some Asgardian characters coming in soon. Yeah. So, a lot to look forward for. Uh, I'm really excited about uh, Moon Knight and She-Hulk being added to the game. Uh, I don't have the kind of funds to be able to do Disney Plus right now. Um, but I probably would purchase Disney Plus uh, just for the She-Hulk and Moon Knight show and because everything else I'm very unsure about but without a doubt She-Hulk and Moon Knight would be a really a really be a cool show I think everybody would know would be something to see anyways uh, I'm gonna get out of here goodbye everybody goodbye everybody